hey, this shot in the doubles at the net, that's extremely important to master. Of course, we need to have our racket up, but there are so many small details in this shot at the net. How we move the leg, how we are positioned on court, how our elbow, arm, shoulder, what do we do when the shuttle comes in these positions? How do we add power? And how much power do we add to those shots? Let's talk more about that in this tutorial. So let's start out with the footwork. You need to be low in your legs. If you stand all the way up like this, you can react to the things coming a little bit out in the sides. It's also really tricky if the shuttles come really, really flat. If you're standing like this, you will get it directly into your head. So wide legs and down your legs, okay? I like to have my non-racket leg a little bit more to the back. So I'm standing a little bit uh, in this position. So if I need to lean backwards, my body, you know, my, the weight balance will be on the non-racket leg like this. And about the shot. Um, this is a... Um, this is one of those things that's a little bit tricky to learn because when you see some of these professional players uh, playing in the television, they don't have the racket that high up in order for them to be ready. I like to stand with my racket like this, but I see many, many players having it a little bit low, very loose, and then work on those quick reactions like this. I see many Indonesians do that, many from Malaysia doing, doing that as well. And then I see all these European players having the racket up. That's what they learn when they, they learn badminton. That's also what I learn my students. That is to have the arm and the racket up so we are ready to react up here. That might be that we have um, slower reactions. I don't know. But if you see a, a guy like Sugamulio, well, his racket is way down, just like this all the time, up and down, up and down. But he's extremely fast. So if you can master that, that's okay. If you can master that, try working on keeping your elbow up, your arms up, and the racket in this position. I like to be standing like in this position with my racket with this angle. So if the shuttle comes, I can react quickly with a forearm rotation. I can also add the finger power and the kickback movement. So the arm up, the forearm rotation, the finger power, the angle on the racket and then the kickback when I hit the shuttle. So when we are in this position, we don't need to add full power. I like to say that we need to hit a quick shot instead of a powerful shot. And a quick shot is this shot. A powerful shot is this shot. When you use that powerful movement, it's more or less, um, I, what do you say? It's a little bit more dangerous for you to hit the net or you know hit the shot way out. So. Try to use the small, quick movement. And then you also, if the shuttle comes back, you're ready for the next one again, as you can see here. I'm ready again. Okay. Okay. 